I'm sorry to keep you waiting, but Anna couldn't find... Oh. I hope I'm a surprise and not a shock. Well, you're certainly unexpected. I thought I'd get up a small party, just an informal one. Uh, you remember Sir John Bullock? He and Lord Gillingham have just been staying with us. Cora said it had been a success. I think it's so clever of you both to be free at such short notice. They brought your message to my club. I thought I had an evening of cards and whiskey ahead, so it was a very welcome change of plan. Mm. And what about you? Well, I cancelled what I was supposed to be doing. I hope Miss Lane Fox didn't mind. Don't punish me for wanting to see you again. John's got a marvellous idea for later on, haven't you? After dinner, I thought I could take you all to hear the new band at the Lotus Club, if you'd let me. You and Mary can be my chaperone, so what could be more proper? It isn't too jazzy, Lady Rosamond. Just a club with a good dance band. We can keep the young in order. That's if you like the sound of it. Oh, please say yes, Mary. Do. It's such eon since we've had any fun. What about you, Tom? I'll stay here with Lady Rosamond. Oh, I was thinking I might go too. That settles it. Tom can come as Aunt Rosmond's partner. Well, I give in. <laughs> Some more champagne over here. I don't really need any more. Nonsense. How are we supposed to keep going if we're not properly fueled? <laughs> I can keep going. I'm afraid his evening of cards and whiskey had already begun when he got your aunt's invitation. <laughs> <laughs> Still, it holds a goodly share of me. I hope you don't mind my ambushing you like this. It was Mama and Aunt Rosmond who ambushed me. And I'm glad you came. Really? Absolutely. When I'm at Downton, I feel so weighed down, as if I were stuck at school for the rest of my life. <laughs> but tonight, you've made me play truant, and I like it. The flowers that bloom in May so if it's raining... Can I see you again before you go? How? The meeting's at noon, and then we go straight to the station. Oh. And anyway, you've told me you're engaged to be married. Almost engaged. Almost is good enough for me. And even if you weren't, the truth is... I'm not ready, and, and I won't be for some years. I don't believe that. Don't misunderstand me. It's been lovely, here and at Downton. I feel quite refreshed. But now it's time to go back to real life again. And that doesn't include me. How could it? Whenever April showers come along